James Bond. Suave and sophisticated, dangerous, gadget laden, charming and incredibly British. So, as a Dutch Bond fan, this passion doesn't represent my country. And thankfully so. I mean, who would want to see a Bond that wants to split the bill with the Bond girl and is so down to earth he just tells the villains to act normal because then you'll be crazy enough, is constantly direct and light-hearted and instead of martinis he would be drinking Heineken and oh wait, Bond already does that. Prost. No, to me, Bond represents the protection of Western culture, the political incorrectness and, honestly, the male fantasy of the type of guy all men want to be, even if they don't admit it. Because of this, Bond is universal and goes far beyond just being a British treasure. But despite that, Holland did have small influences in the franchise here and there. And for all the Americans who are now watching, going like, What is Holland? <laughs> what do you mean, what is it? It's a country right next to Belgium. No, that's the Netherlands. Holland is the Netherlands. Then who are the Dutch? Wow, you're like from a whole other country. I'm Dutch. Hi, I'm Joey. I'm Magha. I'm sorry, Dutch. I didn't get that last little bit. Oh, uh, hold on a second, Joe. <clears throat> Where did Dutch people come from? Uh, well, the uh, Pennsylvania Dutch come from Pennsylvania. <laughs> and the uh, other Dutch people, they come from somewhere near the Netherlands, right? Nice try. See, the Netherlands is this make-believe place where Peter Pan and Tinkerbell come from. So, without any further ado, this is everything Dutch in the James Bond franchise. Going to the start of the franchise, we all know the very first Bond girl, Honey Rider, was dubbed along with most of the early Bond girls in the Sean Connery era. These were all dubbed by Nicky van der Ziel, which is a Dutch last name. But Nicky van der Ziel is actually German. But judging by her last name, and seeing as it's not named Von Ziel, but Van der Ziel, she must have Dutch ancestry. The same holds for Van der Bol's Felix Leiter, played by Rick van Nutter, another Dutch last name, which isn't really Dutch, but apparently just an ancestry. Wow, we're really off to a great start here, huh? <laughs> Let's quickly move on to actual Dutch representing. You're going to Holland. Oh, for fuck's sake, I don't speak Dutch. Yes, of course, Bond does visit the Netherlands in Diamonds Are Forever, which sadly happens to be my least favorite Bond film. Because of all the tackiness. I totally had to homage that tackiness when I visited the same location in Amsterdam, though. It's pretty cool to see Amsterdam in the 70s, which admittedly hasn't changed at all from seeing it in the movie. I still don't like Connery speaking German in the movie, though. Guten Abend. Good evening. Vita? But Sean Connery's visit to our country was a pretty big deal at the time. Sean Connery was door regisseur Guy Hamilton weer aangetrokken om de superheld uit te beelden. Want deze acteur blijkt ondanks het feit dat hij zichtbaar een dagje ouder is geworden, toch de enige die in staat is indruk te maken op het publiek. But that was really it for Dutch movie locations in Bond films. In the next one, of course, he did went to New York, and we all know that was actually Dutch founded. And in reality, it's New Amsterdam. And Harlem that Bond visits comes from the Dutch town of Haarlem. But this isn't the History Channel, we're looking at Dutch things in Bond films. So, if there are no more locations to talk about, what about Dutch actors? Actual Dutch actors, not just in ancestry. Well, the first major one, of course, was Jeroen Krabbe, playing Russian General Kaskov in The Living Daylights. And again, despite him sharing the same first name and being a main villain that is actually Dutch, 
I find him incredibly underwhelming and not really believable. Maybe it's because Jeroen Krabbe is so well known in my country and I just don't see him as a Russian general. But, speaking of Dutch actors playing Russians, for whatever reason, the biggest Dutch pride of course is Famke Janssen playing Xenia Onatop in GoldenEye. To me, the best henchwoman in the series. Super over the top, totally believable, sexy, dangerous, everything. Definitely the biggest pride as a Dutchman in Bond. One movie later, of course, another Dutch actress appeared. Can you guess who it is? Of course, you must have all guessed it. Carver's PR girl is played by Dutch Daphne Dekkers. Everybody knows that. Well, everybody here in Holland does. Where still to this day, she is a very well-known presenter. She's quite proud of her little role in Tomorrow Never Dies, actually. Every time a new Bond film is released, she's often invited to talk on Dutch talk shows to talk about her time in the Bond film. Some Dutch people probably assume she was a really big Bond girl or something, but it's still funny to see. At least she's still very passionate about doing it all. A little while later, Dutch cinematographer Hoite van Hoytema was responsible for the cinematography Inspector. And say what you want about that film, but I think he did an excellent job in it. It's beautifully shot. And of course, since Daniel Craig movies, Dutch beer Heineken has been a pretty major sponsor of the 007 franchise. Because in general, I always felt Heineken makes the best commercials over here. Red! <laughs> So, seeing something I'm passionate about being linked to something I'm passionate to drink is always great. This video is pretty short though. That goes to show there really wasn't that much Dutch stuff in the Bond franchise. But I was happy to mention it. Maybe we need more Dutch influence in the franchise. Maybe we need a Dutch Bond. I'm kidding, I'm kidding! Anyway. Merry Christmas Bond fans, I hope you all enjoyed this quick little video. Like if you did, subscribe and if you are a major fan of the channel, take a look at my Patreon page for awesome channel perks. Happy holidays and see you guys in the next video.